Hey my fashionistas, I just found a new channel that covers all of the latest trends and cool new styles that I'm into and you're going to be into. Check out this clip right now. Join us on the Best Dressed YouTube channel. That was all from The Stylish. They have everything from gold facials to all the latest trends and cool new videos on their YouTube channel from Lindsay Sterling. So click here and check out their new video. Hello everyone, my online registered viewers. So today I wanted to say this is my presidential election video and I am going to talk about who I'm voting for and maybe some election myths and clear up some confusion. So before we go elect our president and some of our congressmen this coming up week on November 6th, um, I figured let's go through a voter's guide together because there's lots of confusion and some people are so confused to the point where they're like, I'm not going to vote. And I think it's super important to know that the strategy of voting is not about who is Republican or Democratic or who is liberal or, you know, strict one way or the other. It's more for seeing what is the best outlook for our futures. And maybe you may not care so much or be concerned so much of your future, but think about others around you, such as parents or children, and understand your situation could always be worse. So for our voters guide, we have Barack Obama and we have Mitt Romney for presidential election. Um, these are the categories in which we're looking at for yes or no, who is for and who is against. So I'm going to answer them as we go down and you will see who I will be electing. Repeal Obamacare. Mitt Romney says yes, Obama says no. I agree with Mitt Romney on that. Obamacare seems to in some ways leave out elders or children or those who have serious health conditions. Um, then our second category, 20% across the board income tax cut. Sounds like a good thing, so yes, I will agree with Mitt Romney. Balanced budget amendment. Sounds like a good thing because we are not budgeting accordingly and going more in debt, so I will agree again with Mitt Romney. Same-sex marriage. Obama says yes, Mitt Romney says no. I am either way on that, so that's not that important to myself. Um, cut Medicare, $716 billion. That could equal a lot of people not having the proper health care, and that would be sad. So I'm going to side with Mitt Romney and say no. Abortion on demand. That's something I feel is per choice. And so again, those are the other ones that I'm not really looking at that decipher who I'm voting for. Cap and trade carbon tax. Well, I don't think we need to be taxed anymore on anything else, so setting on no with Mitt Romney. Taxpayer funded abortion. That is for, I, I'm kind of, you know, knowledgeable about this subject, and that is for different state level governments. So state level needs to take care of that, not overall presidential election. Um, mandated contraceptive coverage by religious charities. Again, same cause. So those are both no's, so it's Mitt Romney for me on that. And Defense of Marriage Act, I think so. We should defend marriage. So overall, I did more said with Mitt Romney. Now you yourself could be more Obama, but either way, if you're registered to vote, vote for who you are more siding with. On the other side, we have Congress. I kind of feel in some ways that I'm more for Tom Latham, and it's because things that I feel that Mitt Romney does as well. And then you also have your state senate, and for Iowa, the state senate is Michael Grasson and Al Regenberg. And I believe, <coughs> I think I'm going to go Al Regenberg. I mean, he's kind of going for the same thing. Understand, for some of my new voting friends have asked me, I'm not all the way up and down. Republican and I'm not all the way up and down Democrat. I 